Hey guys, hope you're all good. I'm Timo, we're on Counter-Strike Global Offensive for some trade-ups. This one is Volume 49. We're doing four trade-ups today, mostly Operation Collection stuff. There's a couple of St. Mark ones and a couple of mashups. Kind of a bit of fun yet risky ones, so let's see how we get on with these today. The first one is going to be an Industrial to Mill Spec one, and it's going to be a St. Mark trade-up. We're going to use three St. Mark skins for this, which are this Banana Leaf in Field Tested, and then a Sunset Lily, also in Field Tested, and then a Dark Blossom M4, also in Field Tested. So that's the three St. Mark skins that we're using. And then we've got seven Train skins, and we've got six in Factory New and one in Field Tested. So these are the Factory New ones, those and those, and then the one Field Tested one is the P90 Ashwood, just there. There you go, I'll throw the picture up for you guys. So basically what we're doing with this is I managed to find some good float skins for the market prices, so I was able to use a final Field Tested train skin instead of a Factory New one and still managed to get Factory New outcomes as you can see in the picture. The average float that I'm using for this one is 0 0.113, so I think, yeah, stay underneath that, you should be able to get everything in Factory New. This one cost me £2, so that's €2.29 or $2.48. The factory new St. Mark outcomes are double your money in market value, so they'll be just under double after steam tax. And we have a 46% chance at St. Mark here, so we're just the wrong side of 50-50. If we hit a train skin here, it's obviously a loss and a rip, so hopefully we can pull a St. Mark one to start off today. So let's see what we get. Yeah, cool, we got a FAMAS Sundown. So that's nice. That's, uh, I think, the hardest one of them to get in Factory New. It is in Factory New. And, yeah, 0 0.067. So, yeah, that one is the absolute closest one to getting it into Factory New out of all of them. So that's a nice start anyway, and a good St. Mark skin to begin with. So that's cool. And um, we're going to move on to trade-up number two, where I've just got to cut quickly and grab the skins out of the storage unit. Be right back. Okay, and we're back, and these next two trade-ups are going to be kind of similar. So they're going to be mainly Operation Mashup trade-ups. So this first one is going to be an Industrial to Mill Spec one, and it's going to be from the Norse, Rising Sun, and Baggage, kind of a mix trade-up. So for this one, we're going to use one Norse skin, and that's going to be in Factory New, and that is this USPS Pathfinder, just there. And then we've got one Rising Sun skin in Field Tested, which is the Desert Eagle Midnight Storm. And then we have one baggage skin, and that is the SG Traveller, which is down here. There we go. And that's field tested one as well. So those are our like operation skins. And then we've got seven train skins, which are all in factory new, and these have all got very low floats. So I'll just get all these loaded in, and then I'll chuck the picture up for you guys. There we go. So you can see from the picture here that these are all really low float train skins. I managed to get them all at market price, just refreshing the market for a few hours. So it does take some time, but you don't have any need to overpay for the floats. You just need a bit of patience. So you can see here that everything we get will be factory new. You need your average float to be below 0 0.07 for that. This cost me £4.75, so that's €5.45 or $5.90. The Norse skins are a decent profit. The shotguns from Baggage are a bit better. They're around double the money. Then the three Rising Sun skins are around triple the money. And then finally, the USPS business class from Baggage is the best here, and that's around four times the money. So we have a 42% chance to profit here. So we're just at the wrong side of 50% again. But these are going to be kind of a little bit more risky ones today. So let's see what we can get from this first mashup. Come on. Ah, oh, the urban rubble from train. So yeah, there we go. That is unfortunate, but that is a fail for the first one. That's going to be factory new and pretty low floated, I would imagine. Yeah. So that is 0 0.033. So yeah, it's quite a low floated one, but unfortunately that is no profit for that second trade up. We're really looking to try and just pick up like one of the really small odds ones basically. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but let's go on to the next mashup now. And that one's going to be number three. So I just had to grab the skins out of my storage unit for the third trade up. So we're going to do this one now. It's pretty similar to the second trade up that we just did, but we're basically taking out a baggage skin and we're adding in a dust skin. So it's industrial to mill spec again, and it's going to be a Norse rising sun and a dust mashup. So for this one, like the last one, we're using one Norse skin in factory new, but this time it is a Mag 7 chain mail. So chuck that one in there. And then we've got another Rising Sun skin in Field Tested, which is again the Deagle. So that's the Midnight Storm there. 
And then finally, we've got one dust skin, which is this AK-47 Predator, and that is in field tested. So they're like the three ones that we're going to use for that, and then we've got to fill it out another seven train skins, and they're all in factory new. So Mag-7, couple of P250s, and then some SCAR-20s. There you go, I'll throw the picture up for you guys. So the train skins, they're all factory new, and they've all got good floats between 0.01 and 0.02. From the picture, you can see we get mostly factory new outcomes, everything apart from the AWP and the AUG from Dust, because they require lower than the 0.07 standard factory new float range. This is more expensive than the last mashup, and this one costs £6.29. The Dust stuff is creeping up in price a little bit. I got the AK for £2.86 a couple of days ago, and now the buy orders are close to £3, so I would suggest getting buy orders in for the Dust skins. So the price in euro would be seven euros and 22 cents and the price in dollars would be seven and 81 cents. So just like last time, we have a 42% chance to profit again. But this time the Norse skin is only a very small profit as the trade-up costs more because the dust skin is obviously more expensive than the baggage skin. The rising sun skins will give us just over double the money, but the dust skins are the real win here because the AWP is about four times the money and the AUG and the sword off are more like five to six times the money. So the dust ones are definitely the best hits out of this for sure. So let's do it. Can we actually get lucky on this third mashup today? Come on. Oh no, the urban rubble again. So that is twice <laughs> we've been done on the mashups and we've got an urban rubble from train twice, unfortunately. So they're both factory new, so yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. That one's 0.03, I'm not sure if that's the one from the previous one. They're both pretty much the same float, actually. So yeah, there we go, that's kind of unfortunate, really. Two fails for the mashups there. We just needed a little bit of luck, but the dominant just over 50% chance odds takes it. So that's three down, and we've just got the last one to do today. And this one is going to be a Millspec to Restricted trade-up, and it's going to be from the St. Mark collection. I'll be back in one second. I'm just going to grab the skins out for it. There we go. So skins retrieved. And for this St. Mark trade-up, we're going to try a 2-8 split. So that is two St. Mark skins, which we're going to be using a MP7 Teal Blossom, that is in field tested, and then a UMP Daylily, and that is in minimal wear. So they're the two skins from St. Mark that we're going to use. And then we've got four bank skins, and they're all in minimal wear, which is two Galil Tuxedos and two CZ Tuxedos. And then we've got four skins from the Dust 2 collection, which is some PP buys on brass in minimal wear, three of those. And then we've got one Damascus Steel SG, and that is in field tested. There you go. I'll put the picture up for you guys so you can see what we're going to get from this one. So this gives a mix of factory new and minimal wear outcomes. The Scout and the Org from St. Mark are in factory new, but not the Glock as it's harder to get and you need a lower float than what we're using. Similarly with the fail outcomes, the P2000 comes in factory new, but the AK will only come in minimal wear. It needs lower floats to get up to factory new. So the average float that I'm using here is 0.129. So if you stay under 0.13, you'll definitely be able to get the outcomes that you can see here. You just need to go lower for the Glock or the AK. So the cost for this one was £10.40, so that's 11.93 in euros or 12.92 in dollars. The Glock from St. Mark in minimal wear is just under double the money. The AUG and the Scout are just over double. The St. Mark skins make up 42.8% of our odds. The other 57.2% is split with the P2000 in factory new and the AK in minimal wear. The P2000 being a better fail, but obviously want to avoid both if we're going to make any profit. So can we hit this last one today? We've been going for shorter odds generally than I'd like to in this video, a little bit more of a risky one. So with this, we're trying a 2.8 and not a 3.7, which I generally prefer, but will it actually pay off? Come on. Nah, no, the Amber Fade. I mean, okay, it's the better one of the two fail skins, but yeah, that is not a profit. That is unfortunately a loss. It is in factory new. It still looks quite worn considering it is actually factory new, 0.051. So that's a bit unfortunate. We lost both of the uh, mashup trade-ups that we tried in the middle, and then we lost the St. Mark one at the end. So not the best video, I don't think, for profit overall, guys. But I'm just going to cut here. I'll work out what we made and what we lost, etc., and I'll be right back in a moment. So I'm back, guys, and today we spent £23.44. So that's €26.88, or $29.12. 
if we sold all the outcomes that we got back on the market just for like market prices we would get back around nine pounds and fifty pence so that's about 10 euros 90 or eleven dollars 80 and that's before steam tax obviously so that gives us a pre steam tax loss today of 13 pounds 94 which is 15 euros 99 or 17 dollars 32 so it's been a pretty bad one for trying to make any money today obviously we won the first trade up but then we lost both of the mashup trade ups and then we got the train skins obviously which are a big rip and then lost the final trade up as well even though we got the best fail outcome it's really those two mashup trade ups in the middle which have lost us quite a bit of money because we pulled back nearly half of the money on that final trade up with the p2000 amber fade so yeah i definitely think it's the train skin on the mashups that have really cost us the money today so a little bit unfortunate it could have been a lot different if we'd have managed to hit some of the nicer skins in those mashup trade-ups but never mind we'll try again next time thank you so much for watching guys please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you're going to try any of these yourself and let me know how you get on and please subscribe to the channel for more videos if you want to support the channel you can donate steam items with my trade link in the description and there's also links there to our discord and reddit so please check those out as well Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.